on the top view. I'll make sure all everything just lines up just right. Move this toward the center. Okay. Now I'm gonna rename this to left underscore shoulder con no. That's the that's the actual group. Now we'll select the actual controller and go left shoulder con. And I'm gonna scale this. Right out. Move and slide this right up just so where it fits exactly where I want it to. Let's make it wider. Let's pull this in again. There. If you don't know how to do that, just hold the control and scale in and out like so. And now I'm going to take its pivot, holding D, V, and I'm going to snap it exactly at that shoulder joint right there. And I'm going to make sure I have the actual controller, not the null, okay? Not the null, the actual controller. Modify freeze transforms. Never freeze transforms to your null. Just leave it the way it is. Now I have one of these. So if you wanted to make a duplicate of this, you can just uh, duplicate this. Make sure you snap it on the other side. Now I'm going to make another one. Group, left, elbow, con, null. Notice how I never scale the null. Never scale your null. Just move and rotate them. Then lining is using basically the red line to line up with the brown line. Then I go to top view, make sure everything matches. Then I'm line the blue line up to the brown line. Now select the actual object. Left, elbow, con. We use I'm gonna scale this out. I'm going to move it now. I'm going to double click on this. Use object. So I'm going to move exactly on the exact location of it. DV. Snap it over there. Unless you want to scale it out first. Like so. Then DV. Snap. Now have your elbow con. Now I'm going to go freeze my transforms. All right, now that we have both of these, I'm going to window hypergraph hierarchy. Let's shrink this down so it's not so big anymore. All right, this is how yours should look like currently. What I want to do next is I want to make sure that these control the uh, the FK. So I'm going to select on the actual controller and then find the FK versions of it. So Here's left FK shoulder. Select that. Constrain orient. Maintain offset. Apply. And then do the next. Elbow. Elbow. Constrain orient. Always double check if it works. And there we go. Now let's parent this properly. So back to our hypergraph. The way to parent this is make sure you select the null. And you parent the null to the actual controller. So I'm going to simply take this, middle mouse click, and drag underneath it. Now when I move this around, it moves the elbow controller properly. All right. Okay, so next thing we want to do 
Let's make the IKFK switch um, the actual controller. So I'm just going to go in special and I'm going to use a nail. Here's a little nail. And I'm just going to make it so it's on this side now. So that's a negative 90. Negative 90. Just make this nail bigger. So move all these out a bit further. This is just customizing your controller. Modify freeze transforms. I'm going to call this the IK FK switch. So this is the controller that's going to have the IK FK switch on it. I also like putting text on it. So I'm going to create text. You also can change your font if you don't like the current one. But IK apply to this side. I'm going to make another one called FK. Apply. I'm just going to position these. First of all, I'm going to rip them out of the current group because I don't like the way it's set up automatically. So I select these two. Just rip them off. don't like the way it's done. Select these two. I'm grouping that. Select these two, grouping that. I'll call this IK text. FK text. So now when I move these, it'll be easier to deal with. Ninety. It's up to you where you want your IK and FK. I'm going to take all of these now. I'll snap it straight to the front again. So when I use my group, i rotate it. It'll be exactly that pivot. I'm going to take the groups now. And I'm going to print the groups to this. So group, shift, click, P. So when I select this controller, it selects both of them. 